For South Africa's embattled rhino, these are desperate times. Even the country's army is poised to join the fight against poaching. But force is no fail-safe in the bush. Could this, in fact, be the rhino's unlikely protector, the elephant, with its acute sense of smell deployed to halt poachers in their tracks? If we try and capture that sense of smell, 28,000 times stronger than ours, 14 times stronger than a really good dog, it's an incredible tool that we could be using for all sorts of things. My particular desire at the moment is to use elephant in an anti-poaching role. Well, basically, yeah, we'll come along, we'll drop an item of clothing, then we'll start going. The elephant will come, they'll pick up the items of clothing, that's got our scent on it, and they'll learn to follow that, or they'll just follow that up. OK, well, yeah. let's give it a go. I've got a yellow hanky in my okay. pocket. And I've got a shirt that I was sweating in, so you can chuck it wherever you want to. OK. And then we'll set it off. off. Yeah. <clears throat> and they're off, like guided pachydermal missiles chasing the poacher's yes. scent, or in this case, the scent of me. At surprising speed, covering 100 kilometers a day, elephant patrols could prove a potent force, leaving little place for poachers to hide. Wow, we've been far. <laughs> well done. Well, we've been tracked by a herd of elephant. That's a pretty creepy feeling, to be honest with you, but incredible. All these animals have been saved from the cull. If they weren't here, interacting with the public, living among handlers who describe them as family, they'd be dead. <laughs> to some, this is exploitation. People who believe the elephants should be living in the wild. But the hensmans believe they're a gregarious and invaluable resource. They've spent the last 20 years self-funding research, not just into the elephant's ability to track a human scent, but also their ability to seek out landmines and hidden arms caches, and even, in theory, using their sense of smell to detect the early signs of disease, like cancer and tuberculosis. Now we're going to put you to the crime. And that's mine. Thank you very much. <laughs> Correct. <laughs> so there you are. Animal rights groups have yet to be convinced. But for the rhino, desperate times call for desperate measures. The elephant could be one of them. Jonah Hull, Al Jazeera, Bella Bella, South Africa.